to talk a little bit about um, sponsorships. I think that that like super produced quality, it gives another effect to it, right? And maybe it's not like optimal for growth because it does take a lot longer to pump those videos out. But like you have this quality about your content that just says like, damn, this guy's legit. Like this guy is nice. He puts yeah. this stuff together. And I think that really lends itself to working with brands because a lot of these brands are coming from more of like the legacy marketing and media world. And they see someone like you, who's like more put together, like more production value. And I think that makes you super attractive to working with brands. Do you think you see that effect from brands reaching out to you? I do. That is actually the one upside that creating that type of content. I feel like with only 50,000, I can, I'm, I can charge at rates at about like 150,000 in my opinion. At least that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, everyone's rates are different depending on like the niche and how engaged the following is anyways. And I think you and I have strong niches. We have people that are on these platforms that want to build brands, make money, uh, you know, build an audience, build businesses, right? So I feel like, you know, we already have us, we're in a strong niche. Um, so brands are willing to pay to get in front of our audience. And uh, yeah, so I think that, the, I've also noticed with the produced content that I make, uh, brands like to whitelist it too. So they'll take the video and they'll use it as their own. They'll push it as their own ad, and it looks like uh, it, you know it, it looks like they hired someone to like do a nice high quality video for for their their brand. Right, that makes a ton of sense. So they're not just getting the exposure on their on your page, but they're also using it because it's so well produced, they're like, we can put this anywhere and it's gonna like represent our brand really well. So maybe you do still stick to like some of those just to keep that style in there. Yeah. In. That looks like it's it's what you've been doing lately, right? It's what I've been doing. There's also a beauty to just like going on a walk, having an idea and being able to whip out your phone and just talk straight to it with the, you know, with a green screen or just straight to the phone for 17 seconds and have that video potentially hit 1.5 million people out of nowhere <laughs> and just like change, you know, the whole trajectory of, you know, your, uh, your brand online. Like that's the power of TikTok and you can do that. So I, I want to start incorporating that style of content into my brand. Uh, but yeah, maybe not have it be like, have it be a pillar, but not the whole, the whole foundation. I, I, I do want to start incorporating the, the iPhone content. Right. And it's just another way to get more volume out there. Like, at the end of the day, you know, it's, 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 uh, the element of like, you got to have a high quality and then you also got to put the volume out too. So I feel like that'll let you get, get both of those elements in there in regards to, you know, these sponsors that you've started working with, um, are you mostly just kind of sitting back and like letting these brands come to you and then you figure out how to play that? Or are you like actively reaching out to brands as well? Like what's your strategy when it comes to landing brands? Yo my theory on this and some people will say and like because i because i made a video on this people i i position that you should start that working with a brand you're just working with people like the brand is just like a front for an organization that is selling a product with a story attached to it right and the option is start building relationships with the people at these brands uh, because the people at these brands, they're usually smart, capable marketing minds that, you know, they're going to continue to to grow in, within that company or they'll get hired and continue to, you know, move up in, in other companies that there'll be great relationships to have in the future. My whole thing is building relationships with people as early as possible. What I've done and I've noticed that some of the people that I build relationships with at around 10,000, they they took notice of what I was doing. And then like now at 50,000 and they're like, oh, if they're responsible for cutting the check and maybe they wanted to cut the check for me at 10,000, but they couldn't sell it to their boss. Now I'm at 50,000 and they're like. That guy that you know I wanted to, to work with before, he's at fifty thousand now. Like, let's work with him. It's great positioning for our brand. So I think right away, and the way that I do it is, and I, I've done this with you, and I, you you've done this with me is it's um it's talking to other creators and seeing who they're working with because um, you know JT Barnett, uh, we, he's a, I'm, you know JT right? Yeah. He's he's on the creator circuit here. And someone that w one of my first sponsors, he, he told me about working with them. And I was like, hey, do you mind making an intro? And he was like, absolutely. Like five minutes later, he connected me with, me with them on email. We didn't work out the brand deal right away. I just got to know them. Three months later, they're like, oh, we're doing this promotion. We'd love to work with you. And that's how it works because I built a relationship with the people. And then when the timing was right, then the brand deal made sense. 
I love that, man. Yeah, it's all about optimizing for those long-term relationships and also like the long-term partnership. You know, you don't want to try to sacrifice some like short-term gains. You know, you want to be like in it with these brands for the long run. At least that's how I try to optimize my sponsorships, right? I don't really want to do these like one-time posts. I'd rather build a relationship and like work with a brand that I love for that long term.